Well, it's almost that time. Yes, the 2020 F1 season is about to begin. I know you're all super excited, like me. So let's talk about how this season is going to work and some other F1 news. For now, Chase Carey has committed to eight races from July to September. The first race will start on July 3rd in Austria. That's where my Opa's from. Some of the tracks this season will host two races. So, there will be two races in Austria, followed by one in Hungary, then two in the UK. The single races in Spain, Belgium, and Italy. Then, hopefully, there will be more races added in the fall. The FIA wants to ensure safety first, so all people working on the races will be tested and cleared before the race weekend. Teams will be separated from each other, and when they do need to interact, they will have to practice social distancing. Also, all the before and after racing ceremonies will be a lot shorter. Here are a few ways the races will be different. 1. Fans Normally there is an average of 150,000 fans for a three-day event. Now there will be zero fans. 2. Paddock guests Normally there are allowed 3,000 fans allowed in the paddocks. Now there will be zero. 3. Essential personnel. There are about three to 5,000 essential personnel. Now there will be 1,200. Part of this number is the 130 people who work for each team. Now there will only be 80 people. 4. Broadcasting. Usually there are about 250 people per race that work in the broadcast. Now it will only be 60 people. This season, most of the drivers and teams will look the same, but there are a few changes. 1. Renault acquired Esteban Ocon, who is a reserve driver for Mercedes in 2019. 2. Williams acquired Nicholas Satifi, who was a Formula 2 driver last season. And 3. Toro Rosso will now be named AlphaTauri. But, while we were quarantined, there were lots of major changes happening for the 2021 season. 1. Sebastian Vettel will be leaving Ferrari. 2. His spot will be taken by Carlos Sainz, who will be leaving McLaren. 3. Then, Daniel Ricciardo will be leaving Renault after only two seasons and will join McLaren. Stay tuned for more F1 moves that are bound to happen. So, back to this season. Other good news is each F1 race will be supported by F2 and F3 races. One team to keep your eyes on in Formula 2 is Ferrari. Their drivers include Mick Schumacher, who is the son of the legendary Michael Schumacher, and last year's F3 champion, Robert Schwarzman. Another F2 driver I really like is Giazzo, who is doing really well at the F1 eSport races taking place during quarantine. Though we most likely won't be able to watch it any races live, at least we will be able to watch it on TV or the internet. NASCAR will start allowing limited guests at the racing tracks, so possibly Formula 1 will follow? Formula E announced it will restart their season in August, with six races in Berlin. Also, IndyCar races are back on, including the Indianapolis 500 in August. Well, that's all for today. I'll see you next time. Signing off from F1 Siena 